Hi everybody, my name is Peter and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I had another video planned. Twelve seconds later. Hello everybody, my name is Peter and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I had another video planned out for this week, but turns out some things take a little more time than others and I don't have much at the moment. So I tried out something a little bit different instead. The one you see before your eyes is a short hike, a small game that came out last year. One thing that has amazed me about this game ever since I saw it on Twitter months prior to its release, it's the art style. Not only the vibrant palette, but also the technique that is used to render the game on the screen. Everything appears as chunky pixel in a pixel art fashion, even though it's not. So I decided to try and replicate this camera style. This is how it went. By the way, I usually recommend you play this game because it's amazingly well done and will give you a great time. To achieve this pixelated effect, we're gonna use two cameras. The first one is gonna render the scene and output to a render texture that is scaled down to the resolution we desire with the nearest neighbor algorithm and has the anti-aliasing turned off to maintain the crisp art edges of the pixel art style. The render texture will then be scaled back up using point filtering and will be displayed on a raw image that will be rendered by the camera number 2. To sum everything up, there are three steps that make up this process. The first one is using the first camera to render the scene to a scaled down image. The second one is to use the second camera to render this scaled down image and we can even pop up some UI elements that we don't want to have scaled down and then render everything to the screen. Now. Let me show you how I did it. First thing first, I created a new c sharp mono behavior component that we will attach to the camera to get the work done. I imported the Unity Engine.UI namespace because it's what is gonna give us access to the raw image class. Then I created public enum pixel screen mode that is gonna allow us to choose whether we wanna resize the screen and set it to a fixed width by height size or just to scale it and pixelate it on x axis by a certain vector. Then the screen size struct is just gonna be an integer vector 2 that we're gonna use to store the, our desired width and height for the screen that cannot be represented by a floating point number. Using these two new data types I declared three public fields. Mode that is gonna allow us to choose whether we wanna resize or rescale the screen. Target screen size that is the resolution we're gonna set the render texture if we choose to resize the screen and the screen scale factor it is going to be used if we choose to rescale it instead. Then we're going to declare four private fields, one which is going to reference the camera component, one that is going to reference the render texture on this camera, and two integers that we're going to use to monitor the game's screen or better window size in order to reinitialize the texture when the window is resized. Lastly, I declare the raw image field that is going to reference the raw image that we're going to use to display the render texture. We're going to use a raw image and not an image, because even though they are very similar components, the image takes a sprite as a source texture, while the raw image takes any kind of 2D texture. And that is what is going to fit our needs. Now is the moment to create a new void method that we're going to use to initialize the camera and the render texture. In order to do so, the first thing we need is to get the camera component from the game object this script is attached to and to get the screen width and screen height from our game window. Then, to prevent any errors, we make sure that the, the screen scale factor and both the width and the height of our target screen size are set to at least 1, since we cannot divide by 0 and it would not make sense to set the screen size to a negative number. Then we're gonna calculate the width and the height, we're gonna have the render texture be, depending on whether we chose to resize or rescale the screen. Then we're gonna initialize a new render texture with the width and height that are gonna be the ones we calculated. I then set the depth buffer to 24 because it's the default value when creating a new render texture in the editor, but you can actually use whatever you want. Then we're gonna set the filter mode to point and anti-aliasing to 1, which means no anti-aliasing. The last thing we need to do in this method is set our render texture to the output target texture of the camera and as the source texture of our display UI raw image. 
we're gonna call the init method from the start function and then we're gonna have update check whether the game window has been resized and if so reinitialize the system this is all the code that we're gonna need so let's jump to the editor okay as you can see I have already set up a simple scene and you can already see the result of our camera here in the bottom left corner but I want to bring your attention to how the hierarchy is organized I have a pixel camera to which I have disabled the rendering of the UI by unticking the UI curling mask then I set the output target texture instead of camera and the texture is being handled by the pixelate camera script for the moment I have a screen scaling settings set to mode resize and target screen size to 160 by 90 pixels the screen scale factor is set to 6 but we're not using that now also we have set the row image UI element to row image which is just a UI element UI game object with a row image component and the texture is handled by the pixelated camera script to render this canvas with the UI image and eventually our extra UI for the game we just have a canvas camera that I set to orthographic and whose culling mask is just the UI because we want to avoid rendering everything else twice this is all that I've really done and now I will hit the play button and see how it works okay everything seems to be working properly you will notice that instead of these smooth low poly lines the scene is rendered in big chunky pixels and yeah this effect uh, you might hate it or love it I actually really enjoy it and I'm really satisfied with the result of course a short hike has some edge detection algorithm that will outline the meshes in your scene and you can add it if you want okay for the sake of trying out everything that we've done today let's try and switch the mode to scale and you will notice that changing the value of our scale factor the pixelation of our scene will change to one if we set the scale factor to one everything will appear normal and not pixelated and as we increase it the pixels will become bigger and bigger and until the image is not readable anymore that was it i hope you enjoyed the final results again i had other plans for this week's video but the free time I have at my disposal is getting lesser and lesser by the day and I could not tackle that. I left a link to download the code that I've shown in the description and if you enjoyed the video I really appreciate if you would consider subscribing and in case you decide to stick around, see you next time.